Bickler and Dylan's here yeah. as well. Yeah. Welcome, one yeah. and all. <laughs> Happy bubbly sofa we've yeah. got tonight. We have to oh get the extension gosh. out, Dylan. Um, there's, a, there's so many of you. We have to shove you on the end. <laughs> and people will be delighted that the second series is on tonight. This has gone down a storm. It's very exciting to have you with us tonight. And yes. a mural Dylan's been painted now on the side of a pub. This massive thing. It's punchy. Oh my god, yeah. Um, how big are we? We're like 20, 20 feet or huge. something. Yeah, it's just, it's so amazing. Uh, especially like us three are blow ins, really. Um, we're not yeah. even no, from Derry. Um, so uh, <laughs> so you see, you, you've actually yeah. seen that in, yeah. It, yeah. We, and we snuck down incognito with, yeah, our with our hoods yeah. up. Yeah. Although someone spotted us circle back around with their, <laughs> with their wife, her sister, and their child. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, really? You can't, can't, really, can't really go incognito in Derry. It doesn't work. Right. Well, for those of you who don't know, uh, this is, it's a sitcom set in. In the in the in the 90s and Sersha Monica you you can kind of relate to it quite a lot because that that was kind of your story as such growing up there yeah well it's obviously Lisa McGee's story but being from Derry myself I'm extremely proud of the show and yeah, of course. extremely proud of where I'm from um, I definitely never expected to work in my own accent never mind do a show about where I'm from so I'd yeah. love to say it's a dream come true but Unlike Lisa McGee, I didn't have a dream that big, so it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Did it or did it feel like you were back at school back then when you were it actually did, It did, it definitely yeah. did. It felt like um, I was back, oh my god, there's my school photo. We do this kind of thing on the one show, sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> one of the days we were filming in series one, we were actually filming on a street that one of my best friends I grew up with lived on. And the three of us were stood on the street and three girls in my old school uniform from my old school walked past and I was just like, this is the oh, oh, most surreal thing ever. OK, well, we'll talk more, obviously, about the new series uh, as we go. And if there's anything um, that you want to comment on throughout tonight's programme, then, uh, as usual, get in touch in the usual ways. Uh, time to... Yes. So you thought, right, I know. Who's the person I know from Derry? Nadine Coyle from Girls <laughs> Lounge. Yeah. And didn't you do a speech that she'd made yeah, on, so pop, she, stars, on pop Stars? On the Irish Pop Stars about 15 years ago, probably. Yeah, she, yeah. Um, she lied about her age. It was very scandalous. Did she? Did I remember? She, mm. I, I can't see, remember. it was on the Irish show, the so maybe. The passport thing? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so what? that. Yeah. yeah. Please, yeah she, so she yeah. was doing an interview and she was like, my name's Nadine Coyle from Lark Hill and Derry. The other birth, 15th of 685, Mechamia, Germany. And then she went. <laughs> She went, what did the birth say? So you know, yeah. so I did that in the audition, even though no one wanted me Brilliant. to. I still did it, <laughs> just like did the whole speech. Extra, um, but it served yeah, you well. <laughs> and, and, and Louisa, what about you? Where, who did you copy off for your accent? So. My mum actually, when I got down to the last couple of girls, my mum researched Derry actresses and found a couple of videos of uh, an actress called Sarah Shamanica Jackson. No, oh, there we are. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just authenticity is what I was going for. Yeah. And yeah. the girls were so good to us as well. We must have wrecked their heads, like Saoirse and Jamie Lee, who are both from Derry. They just helped us with everything. They were really kind. and oh. yeah. yeah. So, Dylan, I mean, I, I watched the first episode of the second series. I haven't seen any of the first series, but you, to be fair, you don't actually have to watch any of that because you can dive straight into it. But how you, you play this kind of confused chap, yeah. to say the least. <laughs> How true to life is that for you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, yeah, he's, he's like a fish out of water. It's like yeah. he's gone through the looking glass, really. And, um, yeah, he's um, Michelle's cousin from England and his mum basically just abandons him in uh, mm. Derry with his cousin and his aunt. It's not funny. No, it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, uh, no, but... Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and he, he gets it with the gang and yeah. um, they... It's kind of welcoming with open arms. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how um, much did yeah. you know then, Dylan, come into it as a project? Because obviously that's the character. But you were saying, yeah. you know, it's a shame people don't do this in school in a lot of places. Well, yeah, because it's the, tr the troubles are obviously they're at the heart yeah. of this yeah. comedy. And it's actually the naivety of the characters mm. and the way they're approached to it and what they're seeing and the learning. That, you know, it's quite different to any of the other programmes out there that to do with the troubles. Yeah, big time. Well, uh, me personally, I didn't know much about them because they don't really teach uh, it in um, English schools and UK schools. Yeah. I think some Scottish schools, I think, teach it apparently. Right. But um, yeah, so it was all quite alien to me. But yeah, it was really interesting learning curve, um, learning from the girls and all that. Yeah. And Lisa didn't initially want to include the troubles at all. She said she was so sick of hearing about them. She didn't want to write about it. But then Liz Lewin, who's our exact producer, said to her, well, maybe just write it from your own experience and that was just a true part of her experience yeah. so she you know I think including it was the right sorry someone tripped over there it's live we can go with it <laughs> um, well we, while we find out that that person is all right why don't you have a little look and see